I'm James Collado, driver of the 499P51 car. My passion from racing ultimately came from my father and we used to go to a lot of races to watch together and I, I told him I would like to try one time. And uh, yeah, I did my first kart race, which I won. The first race that I saw live was the Formula One Grand Prix, I think in 1999. I remember the noise. I remember the sound of the cars was just something phenomenal. I think I've got two main heroes. In my time was Michael Schumacher, of course, but um, in terms of true speed, grit, uh, true racer, it was always uh, Ayrton Senna. My first time in a race car, I will always remember it was one of the biggest emotions I ever had. Uh, winning my first race, I, I, I've won them on, I've won, won world championships, but that first one was something incredible. The first races, um, in go-karts for me was something quite unique and special because I remember that we couldn't afford hotel rooms. So I remember staying in the back of a van and that was my hotel room for the first year of, of go-karting. You know, we couldn't afford rain tires. So I always drove on slicks in, in, in the rain races. Uh, and you know, it used to make me super nervous. I almost felt a little bit embarrassed, but even with slicks in the rain, sometimes I'd managed to get a top 10. At the end of the day, these things that happened, which I always remember, whether it be good or bad, it's something that's made me a better person generally, and also, let's say, a better racing driver. What was a new challenge for me was going from single seaters to GT with Ferrari in 2014. I remember my expectations were not high. I had teammates much quicker. There was other cars much quicker than me, but it was a chance to learn. Uh, it took some time to, to arrive at to a level where we w were winning, but it arrived. And from that moment, we continue to win. And the approach going into LMH is the same approach. We want to win outright championships and we want to win them on as well. So that's the ultimate goal. When you start to get wins or good results, podiums, you start to become disappointed when it's anything less. Probably only lasts a few seconds when you cross the line or you know your teammate crosses the line. Th those few seconds are everything we work for. So uh, it's uh, ultimately why we're here, that's to win races. The discovery of going from single seaters to endurance racing was really tough because in the first six months, my attitude was wrong. Then I made mistakes. I was fast, but I made big mistakes. Um, one which was really bad in Le Mans. And from that big accident I had in Le Mans, I realized to try and look after the car because, you know, 24 hour Le Mans is a long race. It's not just one hour, two hours that you get in single seaters. So once I got that mindset, that approach, that attitude, the, the, the results came. Before the first Le Mans win, there were many attempts. And yeah, the first one, which was 2019, um, what, I mean, what a feeling. I, I can remember I lost my voice after 10 minutes of the, of the race finishing. I was shouting so much, it, the emotion was so high. And the most special thing was to see every single person involved had that same emotion. It wasn't just me. Now I'm thinking about LMH, I'm thinking about winning again. It will be like winning for the first time for me again. Um, and that's, that's my goal, you know, that's my ambition. As a team, we'll work so hard to get it and uh, fingers crossed, we will. Le Mans is an example of how we try to stay focused. It's something that is really relative to experience because the first Le Mans that I ever did, I was awake for 40 hours. I didn't sleep, I was nervous, I was anxious. It was a new experience and I was tired. And, um, you know, that has an effect in terms of performance. So I learned that you don't need to stress too much. You need to put down the phone, you need to put down the iPad, you need to turn the lights off and try to sleep. And it's not easy because you, it, you're in the middle of Le Mans with all the noise. It's huge adrenaline. I mean, of course, you, you've been there for two weeks prior to the race start, you know, you're there a long time. Uh, and day by day, even hour by hour, you feel the tension go more and more and more and more. You're in the moment where you focus, 
And um, in that moment, you jump in the car, everything's a little bit more quiet, you've got the earplugs, um, and it's just you, the car, and the engineer in that moment. So it's a, a peaceful environment to being silent in the car, finally, and that's one of the best moments. James today, myself today, if I was giving it advice to myself when I was younger, it would be to always prepare for the next step during the step that you're in. And the other thing which I come back to was the attitude. Try to make the most of learning from other people that have already been in the same situation and take that advice and, and work on it. Best of luck all of you, here we go. If you wanted to watch me on track, I think one of the best places would be a Rouge and Spa, where the corners are risky, where you want to go full gas, and especially in the rain, because you know, in the rain you can have fun. You, you can slide the car around, so a Rouge would be the biggest one. I had good results in the rain, and I feel it's a place that I enjoy to be in, is driving in the rain. I think part of that is that I was on slicks when I was when it was torrential conditions and I had no option. I couldn't put wets, they didn't have any, so I learned and every time it rained, no matter what I was in, I, I was doing well. So it's something that I enjoy driving, it is the rain. It's something uh, being English as well uh, helps a lot. So yeah. I feel so lucky to be to be part of this amazing team. There's a huge passion in Italy. Ferrari and I feel that passion and it, it makes me feel good and um, it's just a pleasure to be able to you know get this opportunity. We need the fans to support all of us not just myself but the whole grid they are extremely uh, you know special to all of us and especially the Italian ones. The Tifosi, um, I'm looking forward to Monza this year. I've been working with Alessandro, yes, for, for, a, for a long time now, since 2017. So this is something that's really important, is to have this bond between one another. We respect each other all the time. The faster you can go, the more fun it is. I like to risk, I like to go as fast as I can. I'm looking forward to Le Mans, to, to be able to be in a night, you know, at 300 plus kph. Uh, is going to be something uh, very special. Can't wait. Uh, three words to describe the 499P. I'd say it's fast, it's complex, and the other word would be, um, I feel it's a winner. Mm -hmm.